And good morning. Well, I've sorted through all my goodies from 30 Days of Candy. And I'm going to start off with Mexico. Cajetas. I want to say thank you to Daniel Garcia Hughes who sent me a little message about how to eat these. These are like little cups of caramel from Mexico. And he suggested to spread them on toast. So here you go, Daniel. It sounds like it might be good. Mmm. It tastes good by itself, too. It's really thick. Here's my toast. Mmm, mm, this is delicious. Thank you, Daniel. Mm. I don't even want to move on to the next, next candy. Mm. It's really good. Okay. So that was, that was Mexico. I'm going to start off with all the ones I know I like. And we'll see if I, well, we'll see how many I can get through. Look at this. This is the cornstarch one. From Belgium. Remember that? It's just a cornstarch pouch with candy. Give it a try. It's very unique. The wafer, it reminds me of the Catholic communion wafer. That's kind of what it tastes like. It's kind of a fun candy. It tastes just like it says, like cornstarch with just like sugar beads inside. Saltwater taffy. These are delicious. These are from right out of Salt Lake City, Utah. I 
I'm guessing that was a huckleberry flavor. Mm. Thank you, Salt Lake City, Utah. That was pretty good. This is out of Japan. Ramone. I'm pretty sure I like this. Japan. I can't quit eating my my Mexican toast. Chuchu mm. mm. out of British Columbia. These are delicious. I have some. I don't like taffy, but better. It's so delicious. Mm. Thank you, British Columbia. Dulce de Leche's are delicious from Moscow. It's like milk and caramel flavor. These are so good. Yeah. It's boiled condensed milk caramel. Well, I don't see that they add caramel, but I says sweet milk, but that's what it tastes like. Thank you, Moscow. This is delicious. Um, these are good too. Thank you again, Japan. This is another Japanese candy. Milky. Oh. It's like a... milk flavored candy. Very good. Thank you, Japan. Oh, this one I already tried these trickle toppings. 
on part two, video part two. These were delicious toppies. Uh, um, Britain. British coffee makers, walkers, delicious. I ate this at the end of my part two. Mm. Let's see. Lychee and Muscat, native China. But where's it from? They're a flowery flavor. Popular in Asia. Oh, by the famous Japanese. Oh, they made it into a gummy. So let's see. This is my third one from Japan. Oh, cute. Is it like the shape of? like a, a fruity flavor. Pretty good. Thank you, Japan. Again, it's my third one. Durian of Southeast Asia. Mm. This is an acquired taste. Just says this is an unknown flavor in Japan during reserved as the, in Southeast Asia as the king of fruit. Look at how cute! That totally cute. Definitely an acquired taste. The smell evokes reactions from deep appreciation to intense disgust. I, wanna, I guess this fruit that they make it from. You know what? It's not bad. Thank you, Southeast Asia. It's not bad. I'm, I'm trying to compare, think of what could I compare it to. Um, it's a hard candy. Um, I can't even think of, it's not like caramel. be like caramel, but not as sweet, more salty maybe, but anyway, it's not too bad. Tamarind out of Indonesia. We'll give this a try. Another hard candy. Hmm, not bad. It's not completely fruity. A direct translation of tamarind 
is the date of India? Hmm. They think it the species originated in Africa. But it's a part of Indian cuisine. Hmm. It's not bad. It's definitely different and unique. I must admit, I do enjoy this 30 days of candy. Uh, they are unique flavors that I would never have had a chance to try. Um, I'm really happy I got this for that reason. This is my favorite, I think. These are delicious. These are sesame candies out of Brooklyn, Brooklyn-based company for over a hundred years, Joyva, family-owned Brooklyn, New York. These are delicious. They say the best way to enjoy it is to uh, suck on them and enjoying the seeds as they dissolve, as the as the honey dissolves. Yeah, right. I can never let candies dissolve. These are delicious. You wouldn't think it'd be that great of a candy made of sesame seeds. But the honey makes it delicious. Mmm. Thank you, Brooklyn, New York. Delicious. Oh, these are so cute. These are Chinese Hawthorne. And the package looks like Chinese fireworks. And it is true. It's totally cute. And they only have two ingredients. Sugar and the hawberry. So, thank you, China. China. I'm just assuming it's made in China because it's talking all, all about Chinese, where is it's made. Big red fruit. Oh, look, look at how cute this is. It looks like a little Chinese fire. It's like a little Chinese fireworks. But there's a little candies in there. And I'll show you. See? It's like these, these little wafers. It's just made out of sugar and the fruit. And they're okay. It's more of like a fruit treat than a candy. Totally cute. Thank you, China. That's cute. Oh, these are pretty good. Pear and plum. The plum is from the Ukrainian candy company, Harkow. And the pear is from a candy company called Spartacus out of Belarus. Hmm. These are really good. It's like, like a hard shell on the outside. And so this is the plum.
I see that. Looks like a fruit center as a break up. And a plum. A plum is from Ukraine. Thank you, Ukraine. Just with a pear flavor out of Belarus. Mm. Coconut and ginger out of China. Mm. 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 I'm not crazy about it. It's an adult flavor. Definitely. Well, I can't taste the coconut. It tastes like something, but I couldn't I, I couldn't guess that it was coconut. Mmm. These seem harmless. Banana and julep. Let's see. These are out of I'm guessing it's from the United States. Currently made by Neko, the same folks that bring you those Neko wafers and those conversation hearts on Valentine's Day. That's funny, they don't even... Well, Neko, I'm guessing this is an American company. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the julep. That's pretty unique. I've never had a mint julep, but I love the Kentucky Derby. I've never been to the Kentucky Derby, but that's where they have mint juleps. I've always wanted to have a mint julep from the Kentucky Derby. Maybe someday. Definitely like banana. Yep. It's a very, very good. It's very banana y. But I'm just not crazy. It's pretty good. Let's see. What else? Maca. Matcha, but I think it's pronounced maca. For some reason, I think I had this in a, in a health drink or something, I think. Out of, this is Chinese confectioner, white rabbit, and contains edible wrapper inside. I love those Japanese candies. Oh, this is a Chinese candy with the rice paper. See it? Can you see the rice paper on there? Look at how. Just melts in your mouth. Cute wrapping paper. Okay. 
can't taste anything yet. Maca. Matcha means powdered tea. Green tea. Mm. Maca is very high in theanine and chlorophyll. Oh. No wonder I thought I had it in a protein drink or some kind of health drink. Mm. Thank you, child. I pray good. It's like a hard uh, taffy consistency. Okay, well that's it for the good ones. These ones here are questionable. This is a dill pickle flavor. I have a few minutes left. This is out of would definitely be a unique flavor. Mm. Chicago candy. I went to the Chicago candy show and we spotted these all from the place that makes the unique Jelly Belly flavors. Now they're saying it really Tastes like a bit of dill pickle. Mm. It does. It's like a dill pickle with sugar. Mm. From the Jelly Belly flavor, Jelly Belly Company. Mm. Very unique. And it does taste like a dill pickle. There's a barberry from Eastern Europe. Spartacus Confec Spartac Confection Company in Belarus. Another Belarus barberry shrub. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, really good. Yeah, really good. Thank you for having me. Mm. Very good. And this is black currant. And licorice out of Liverpool. This Liverpool candy company out of Liverpool. So I'm gonna try black currant and licorice. Does not sound good at all. Delicious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a fun surprise. This is really good. I'm excited. This is fun to find out about new flavors and new candies from countries. This is really fun. Oh, really good. Wow. Well, I'm done for this video. I have part four with a few more candies that don't appear to be my favorite. But thanks for watching. <laughs>